This video is proudly sponsored by Vax. You can get £30 off a spot wash cleaner by using code DAN30 at the checkout of vax.co.uk. This offer is valid until the 26th of July 2022. Hi everybody, hope you're well, hope you're keeping safe. Now as you might appreciate, accidents do happen here in the caravan. Just ask Mrs T how I spilt car shampoo on the carpet. It wasn't a particularly easy job to remove that stain actually. I had to remove the carpets, take them home, scrub them, soak them, scrub them again, and it wasn't a very easy job to perform, I'll be honest with you. And what I really needed is one of these, a spot wash from Vax. The Spot Wash Spot Cleaner from Vax is a powerful carpet, upholstery and floor cleaner that is ideal for removing spots and stains from fabrics and hard surfaces. Its small form factor makes this an ideal companion for cleaning inside the caravan or motorhome. So in this video I'll go through what's in the box, a quick tour of the cleaner, I'll share with you how it gets on with the caravan carpets and as mentioned give you details of a special offer later on in this video. So let's crack on and see what we get in the box. In the box is the Spot Cleaner, an instruction booklet, quick start guide and details of how to register for the two year guarantee, two clips for storing the hose which are added to the base of the cleaner, the cleaning head, a multi-surface tool, a hard floor tool and 250 millilitres of spot cleaner solution. Everything we need to crack on and clean up the caravan interior. If we look around the spot wash we have two water tanks, a 1.6 litre clean water tank on the left and a tank for wastewater on the right. In the middle and on the top is the on off switch and at the back is a clever socket that helps clean the machine once you've finished using it, but more on that a bit later on. The spot wash requires 230 volts of mains power, so if you're in a situation like this where you're in storage and there's no access to power, use either a small portable power station or a small generator. However, because of its low power consumption of just 400 watts and its small form factor, it means that it's actually a perfect companion to take away in the caravan with you. I mentioned small form factor and it measures up as 38 centimeters in height, 25 centimeters in depth and 35 in width. It weighs 3.89 kilos and is ideal for stowing away in the caravan. Looking at the hose and the cleaning head you can see the trigger on the bottom that releases the cleaning solution. Simply squeeze to spray a fine mist onto the surface that you are cleaning. The cleaning head contains two included tools that can be easily swapped over depending on the surface you are working on. The head also has a clear moulding, so you can see how much fluid is being sucked up into the machine. Right, that's enough of a tour around the device, it's time to get on and see how it, it performs. So, I will stress this now. I cleaned these carpets about four weeks ago. Um, I think it was four weeks, maybe five. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see how this little device gets on. To my mind and to my eyes, these carpets don't look too bad. So here's what I've decided to do. I'm going to do a 50-50 on the front carpet here. Uh, I'm going to leave one half completely uncleaned and I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do the middle carpet which gets the most footfall out of any carpet here in the caravan. And also I'm going to have a go at the front entrance mat which we have never cleaned since owning the caravan. We have vacuumed it but we've never actually cleaned it because I don't like taking that out because it's a bit of a, an awkward job to put back in place. So I've prepared the cleaner by adding hot water that is around 40 degrees in warmth and the cleaning solution. The tank has clear markings on how much cleaner to use with the level of water. If you only have a small amount to clean up, you can use the lower markings on the tank. I'm going to clean up quite a large area, so I'll fill the spot wash right up. So the liquids have been added, I've reinstated the tank on the machine, plugged it in and switched it on. So let's crack on. Right, I've gone over the carpets now with the vacuum cleaner. There was a few bits of, of muck there on the carpets, certainly a lot of dog hair. There was also grass and there was a couple of pieces of mud as well, but also small amounts of grit, which you bring in with your shoes. So I don't think you'll find the carpets look too bad. I think you'll agree they don't look out of place. Certainly, I don't think they look dirty. Using the spot cleaner is really straightforward. Simply switch on and place the cleaning head on the area that needs cleaning. Then squeeze the trigger on the handle and pull the head back while releasing the cleaning solution. Then agitate the wet carpet pile with the tool on the bottom of the cleaning head and in my example it doesn't look too dirty so I'm not scrubbing too hard. I am really just making sure that the carpet threads have all been coated with the cleaning solution. Next tilt the head slightly forward to suck up the liquid from the carpet and you can see how much liquid is being sucked back out of the carpet through the cleaning head. So that's the basic principle, so why don't we put on some music, cue the time lapse, 
and I'll carry on and clean half of this carpet and then we'll see the difference once I've finished. I'm quite lucky in the fact that these carpets are removable, uh, but many older caravans, they have fitted carpets where the carpets are put in first and the cabinets are put on top of them. So I thought it'd be really important for me to show you how dry the carpet is underneath and also how dry the carpet is on top. And of course I'm wearing gloves, so you'll be able to see straight away on these gloves. And as you can see, the hard surface underneath the carpet is, is still dry. And to touch the carpet on the top, it's only mildly damp on the surface. A couple of hours here in the caravan will soon see this dry out, I have no doubt whatsoever. So what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll look at this 50-50 tomorrow, but until then let's have a go at the entrance mat here in the caravan. Right, I've run out of clean water and solution, so it's time to empty the waste and give the machine a really good clean, and that couldn't be simpler. First off, let's empty the wastewater from the machine. Remove the waste tank, unclip the top, and pour the liquid out. And I'm sure you can agree, this is pretty disgusting. So next up, let's clean the machine. Add an inch of water to the clean water tank, remove the cleaning head, and switch the machine on. Plug in the hose to the back of the machine and let it cycle the water throughout. Clean the insides, removing any muck or debris from inside the hose. I clean the rest of the machine back at home where I had some running water. So with the cleaning head, I simply rinse this under the tap and you'll notice that the head can come apart to remove any trapped solid. In my case, dog hair. For the waste tank, I again ran this under the tap, removing any grit, clumps and dog hair. And then finally, I let it all dry on the draining board before reassembling, ready for the next use. Okay, so it's about a day later now. I've given the caravan carpets plenty of time to dry out. Let's have a closer look to see how they're looking. So on the front carpet that I only cleaned one side, you can clearly see a division of where I have cleaned and where I haven't. If I'll be honest with you, I think I went a bit heavy handed near the edge of the carpet and this has taken longer to dry. But the entrance floor mat looks much cleaner all small traces of mud, which are usually brought in by shoes, have now gone. The middle carpet that gets the most footfall looks fantastic as well. If we look back at the filthy water that I removed from the carpet, you can see just how much mud, dog hair and grit the cleaner pulled out from the carpet fibres. And do remember, I cleaned these carpets just a couple of weeks ago. Something you can't tell on camera is how fresh the carpets now smell. Now a couple of tips for you. First of all, when you get more solution, which you will end up doing, don't throw this little bottle away. Instead, I would recommend that you decant your cleaning solution into this. This is a 250 ml bottle, and this is all you would need if you're away in the caravan. You certainly don't want to be lugging around a litre bottle with you. Save some weight and also it would save some space. The next tip I've got for you is when you're cleaning the multi-surface tool, if you have things like dog hair trapped in the bristles, use a nail brush to rub up against the bristles of the tool. That way all the hair will come out and it'll be absolutely immaculate and ready for the next time you're away. Finally, in terms of how much you can clean with one tank, well that really depends on how mucky your carpets are. But based upon my experience cleaning these three carpets, I would say that on an average size caravan like this one, you're looking at a approximately two tanks of clean water. So that's just over three litres of cleaning solution, which I don't think is too bad at all. And as you would have seen from the dirt that I extracted from these carpets, it's made quite a good job of it. Right now, and until the 26th of July, 2022, you can get 30 pounds off this machine from vax.co.uk. Use the code DAN30 at the checkout of vax.co.uk online shop, and you can receive this product for just 99 pounds, 99 pence. I think you'll agree the results speak for themselves and it's a fantastic investment. Certainly if you have a dog, a cat, or children, or just mucky people.
Right, and that's it from me today. I hope you found this video useful. One thing I will say is it's far, far easier cleaning the carpets in situ in here in the caravan. I mean, traditionally, we've always taken them out, taken them home to clean them. But we've always had the issue that we've had to dry them out, hang them over banisters, and then we've always had to roll them back out flat again to stop them curling up at the edges. Cleaning them in situ has been really, really easy, and it didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to take. What I do need to do now, though, is I need to finish this carpet, which has only got half of it clean, and then I can show it off to Mrs. T when she comes up to inspect the caravan, which, of course, she will. If you do buy one of these machines, don't forget to register for the free two-year guarantee, and I'm sure you will notice a fantastic difference in your caravan. Huge thank you to Vax for sponsoring this video. Uh, if you like their products, head on over to their website and have a look on their product list. Also, don't forget, if you buy one of these machines, buy the extra fluid as well. So, like I said, that's it for me today. Any comments or questions, hit them down below and I'll try my best to answer them for you. But until the next time, many thanks for watching. Please do hit the subscribe button and the notification icon. And if you could do all that, I'll see you in the next upload.